What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another video for y'all. And look, as y'all see in search, right? I'm in Jamaica. Because you see how it's different from here. And you might hear a little echo. But hey, it's like this. <coughs> so from the last video I did was the fourth piece. And to be honest, that was five days ago, right? So I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. What can I say? I did was gonna go on a little break and such, and then did promise videos. But let's face it, <coughs> sometimes I don't keep to my word as much. But I know this for sure. I'm gonna make sure I come back with. I'm gonna try to make sure that I come with these reactions, even if I'm still in Jamaica and such. Because let's face it. The grind for me, it don't stop. But as you see by the thumbnail that just popped up, we here with Screwface John Homie Saito response. Now, if you haven't noticed, if you've been on Twitter and such, that it's like this. This all started with Dead Boy Kez or Kezura. But basically, Dead Boy Kez and Monk Fu Prophet had a beef and such like three months ago or so. And Screw, in a way, was in the middle of it, so and he reacted. And we thought that that beef might have settled it, and that beef was like over and such, right? In a way. But lately, and so somehow, when Screw put up a video, of, put like a little meme video of his video, of him doing his screwed up to Drake and 21 Savage's Rick Flex. Let's just say they went off on Twitter. So, look, I know it's gonna be a long. I know that was a long intro, man. But hey, just wanna catch people up for those who want new and so. So either way, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials out there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Uh, time to listen to this. Ah, I'm here for the pennies. A <laughs> few minutes later. <laughs> Damn. This nigga is trash. Yeah. What? Yeah, I think you know I know damn well. Let's face it. If you're gonna get a di if you're gonna be in a diss track, you know damn well they ain't gonna well. It depends on how you want to come back on this track, but yeah. For me personally, I would, even though I didn't react to it, I heard it. It was alright. I liked it. I like Kez and all, but let's face it. Let's face it. You as the bi bisexual rapper, shouting out gay jokes and all. I don't know how to feel about that, but. It is what it is, that's what it is. Um, I mean like, I mean this ain't even fair at this point. <laughs> Thought this artist talking about popping, we all know it. Even got your homies calling me, telling me dog is bogus. Like, screw stall him out, it's off a cloud, it's off the show. But I know where the wind go is, I got a Geronimo, it's time to coach him. I know where the wind go, I got a Geronimo, it. Like, when you ducking out the window, saying Geronimo. Yeah, hey, it's like this. Look, like I said, I rock with school and Chris, I rock with you, so I ain't trying to be biased or anything, but. He did say that if that hashtag Kez Pack. Yeah. It's talking about popping, we all know it. Even got your homies calling me, telling me dog is bogus. Like, screw stall him out, it's off a cloud, it's off the show. But I know where the wind go is, I got a Geronimo, it's time to coach him. I know your scheme already, cause I'm good. At. Plus, I read you like a book, and I could already tell your motive. You go look for a line in this rhyme and then misquote it, call it homophobic, hoping they don't focus on the dope shit. Nope, bitch, hope, bitch, I know that you hoping, but I could fucking roast him without talking about who he's stroking. He online, Cause let's face it. If you look now, I'm gonna try not to be biased as anything and such. And like I said, sorry for the echo and such. If you hear it and such, what can I say? It's my it's my room in Jamaica. There's gonna be a little echo here and there. But now, 
on reload, let's face it. Because even though you are the look, I have all respect for all look for the LGBT communities. All respect to y'all and such. Hey, your style is your life. Even though I don't, even though I have it, I just I support it. So here's what it is. It's your life. Nobody can tell you it's good. But that being said though, it's kinda weird to me, I don't know about y'all, but to me, for a gay rapper to put out gay, even if you're not even gay, you're bisexual, so technically, you're half gay, so, I don't know. No, bitch, ho, bitch, I know that you hoping, but I could fucking roast him without talking about who he's stroking. He online all the time, talking about he blicked up. Oh my god, the legal. She smeagled the on that snitch stuff. Put him in a body bag. Zip it like your lips, brother. Cold word is cash. Keep everything zipped up. Mm. Nice little word flip on his name. The cold word is cash. Keep everything zipped up. Mm. Put him in a body bag, zip it like your lips, brother, cold word is cash, keep everything zipped up, bitch, what, repeating like Dax back in the day, all your diss is super lame, you just repeating what you say, Kez like, something, 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 cause you're gay, and I can't think of nothing, so I'll just call you gay, even though you're straight, I'ma still call you gay, and I... did I mention you was gay? Hold up, let me speak to this kid That says more about you if you think that's even a diss I know proud gay people that want to beat up this kid For dogging the people, then acting like he speaks for the click you Yeah, like, come on, dude I kinda, And I kind of agree with that boy, all right? Like, nigga, even, even gay people would, Even gay people would be like, nigga, you're aware for that Like, look, I'm speaking as... I ain't trying to be biased or anything, but I'm speaking facts. I'm just speaking what is on my mind. And hey, who is speaking what's right? How you gonna call you? Look, like I said, I don't got no problems with one day people or nothing like that. Right? It is what it is. But even gay people, especially if you're a rapper, that if you're gonna diss somebody, even they wouldn't call out gay jokes or anything and such. Because one, that's gonna be a bad look on them as a gay rapper and a bad look on the gay, the whole LGBTQ community. So, yeah. No proud gay people that wanna beat up this kid for dogging the people, then acting like he speak for the click you don't. So brace yourself when you break yourself. Cause anyone with half a brain can see you hate yourself. That little voice in your head that makes you hate yourself is dissing you worse than anything I can say myself. Your insecurities got you spazzy cause dog brittle. You insecurity like the national guard with you. I'll ask them a guard with you, then send you to the messiah. Nice national guard. Look, it's cool. One thing with school is that whenever he comes to a diss, he gonna make sure he finds... Cause let's face it, people who always wanna... If y'all can hear me good, cool, cause there's a fan right here next to me and it's in a way a little loud, so if you can hear me, cool. But all I gotta say is this, even when people wanna do diss tracks, 9 times out of 10, they gonna talk about how they gonna break you down or this and that and that. for me, this track is like this. You gotta, and let's face it, everybody knows this when it comes to a diss track. You gotta have proof, and you gotta mean what you're saying in your diss track. Any, any dirt that's on you has gotta be proof, and anything that you're gonna say to the other person you're dissing, you gotta relate, you gotta be facts. So, and let's face it, Kez, you are showing it, you insecurities did show up a little bit. I mean, yeah. Anyone with half a brain can see you hate yourself. That little voice in your head that makes you hate yourself is dissing you worse than anything I could say myself. Your insecurities got you spazzy because dog brittle. You insecurity like the National Guard with you. I'll ask them a guard with you, then send you to the Messiah, leave you stretched like a collar on the worldwide cypher. <laughs> so, wait. Kez was on the... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Because I remember I reacted to the World Right Cypher, his first one. If you haven't, go check it out. Even though it's three, two, two and a half years old, still, go check it out. And I did react to it. 
Was he on it? Like, honestly, what is like this? Whenever it comes to ciphers or so, I honestly don't pay attention. I just try to see. I just try to pick, look at the people who school, who got picked out for the cipher and such and see if they fire or not. Because you already know, I did react to the World War Cipher 2 one. If you ever go check that one out, that one's fire. But for the World War Cipher 1, I remember Rusted was on there. And other YouTube rappers like the other side and such. But I never remember Kez was on just goes to show you sometimes I can't remember all things. You in security like the National Guard with you. I'll ask them a guard with you. They send you to the Messiah, leave you stretched like a collar on the worldwide cipher. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fucking rat, your whole persona's just an act. Matter of fact, remember trying to get me on that track? Every couple days you would message me and ask, even told me that your people said I killed you with the raps. And now you say I'm whack and all of my shit trashed. I saw on Twitter that let's just say Kez had some music. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm a voice. I saw on Twitter that Kez had some music that he still has on his SoundCloud and he said he was gonna. If I'm not mistaken, look, this is how I'm paraphrasing it. So if this reaction is long, so be it. But he had some music and such that he said is still going to be on SoundCloud, but he has to do a little bit, do like new updated or so, remaster new versions of the songs and such. And I saw right there, there was a school face, there was a song with him and school face on it, so yeah. Let's just say that with that song with school face, he said that. He's gonna need a new feature, so yeah, that bar kind of hits different now. Even told me that your people said I killed you with the rap, and now you say I'm whack and all of my shit trash. Dog, you the cat in the hat, just a pussy with big cat. So them opportunities that I gave you, I take them back. Your mascots, the cat flock, cause everything you say is cat. When they was dogging you online, who talked to you? Me. When you needed some shine, who offered you? Me. How come you ain't tell your fans I took time out my day to message your bitch ass and make sure you was okay? Probably because it doesn't fit your narrative of hate. This is what this is what I was talking about. It's school. Look, it's one thing with school, right? If anyhow he's gonna dis he's, he's gonna come with a diss track, he gonna have receipts. He gonna have receipts for days. Cause the fact that he, this as you see, this is from July 9, 2020. Call it you know what? Fuck it, you might as well call it three years ago, right? You know it's not the exact date today. But let's face it, almost three years ago. Shit, it was two days after my birth after my birthday. Hmm. But either way, the fact that he said that to message to message your book and to make sure it was okay. Yeah, you can't say it's look, it's cool. A lot of people may give him hate and such, but at the end of the day, school is the type of guy that he will whether he's trying to do business with you or it's personal. He gonna make sure he's satisfied, no matter which side it is. So the fact that he said he took time in his day to just message you saying that he's okay. You can't call him. Oh, is that this one? People can't call school heartless if he's literally gonna take time out of his day, his music schedule and such, wanted to see if you're okay. You needed some shine, who offered you me? How come you ain't tell your fans I took time out my day to message your bitch ass and make sure you was okay? Probably cause it doesn't fit your narrative of hate. Probably cause you lying to your fans every day or probably cause then you wouldn't be able to say that I bullied you cause I'm straight or I hate you because you gay, huh? Honestly, you just waste time when you make rhymes. Cause I know, cause I know for a fact that, that was people were saying what Monfu did with him this and Kez saying about how Kez is gay and such and they were saying that no fool was being homophobic well and it's like this I'm not, look like I said this is going to be a long reaction so buckle up all I've got to say is this when I watched school's reaction to no fool's song response and such to Kez there was not one homophobic slur or anything that Kez that 
one through six. That one. Bitch, you so soft, don't take nine from the waistline. Cause bitch, you frightened, you really ain't about nothing. You already said you up, it's up, I cut you, then it's up then. And ain't you listen to my last battle me had? Pay attention, you're saying the same shit that he said. Bitch, I don't even live in Nebraska, that's why he dead. And I don't need street cred to punch your fucking teeth in. 1.5 views in a day? That's what it's tweaking. I'm about to write the song of this charity when the year end. It's funny that them niggas listen to you when you. And he's like this. More than they listen to the music you releasing It ain't a secret Dog is just a silly hoe Imagine if you got that interaction on your videos Imagine if your biggest vid in years wasn't dissing bro You probably wouldn't have to cry about your money getting low Let me guess, you wanna try a little bro? That's like losing in the game and saying your controller broke So please don't try to say that that's the reason you got smoke This ain't even my final form, I'm cold as freezes when I flow Hold on, hold on, I ain't about to waste a second be on this dusty bitch, hold up Yo, Nintendo is the closest that you got to a Switch. Mm. Don't try to clean it up now that I'm mopping the shit. Make your voice as tough as you want. You still soft as a bitch. And ain't a nigga in this world that think you are a little trick. Man, your strategy is obvious as shit. Dog, it's true. All you do to act cool is start popping some shit. You don't even tell a motherfucker that you're popping with clips. And they start barking back, you start calling them sis. Niggas say your song is ass, you start blocking them quick. So you can lie and say that everybody rock with your shit. Like we can't see hella niggas straight up dogging your shit. We all watch you lie to yourself because your confidence is so motherfucking low that you should probably dig to the center of the earth because you <coughs> lost in the shit. I feel bad for you. I read your messages back and I feel sad for you, but I'm still putting this bag on you. But let's keep it real. You ain't mad at screw. You mad at you. This some shit I had to do. school just look this it's like this y'all what I feel about the school versus Mari battle that was going on I had my you know both of them are my favorites right so yeah I like both of their music but I have a shot of that so I ain't even gonna go into that but for this one school versus Kez Kez, you may, if, I, if you feel some type of way when I say this, bro, sorry, but let's face it, school just literally t t talked to you down. He just did it. I'm sorry. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And if you made it this far in this reaction, I appreciate you. That means you're a real one. That means you're a real Humble Squad member. Comment down below. Kez got cooked. <laughs> and like I said, if you feel if you're a Kez fan or if you're a Kez, Kez yourself, dude, if you feel some type of way that I'd say this, then then stop talking all that rah rah and such on Twitter. Just stop it. Cause nigga. It is what it is. But yeah, like I said, it's been if you made it this far, comment down below, Kez got cooked. Or Ken's was cook or whatever, right? That and that makes me know that you a real one. But hey, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Hey, I'm about to go crazy and such, cause 
I know in the past five days there's been some music that dropped and I haven't got to it so let's just say these next videos are gonna come out and such but like I said Benny Boy Hunger Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up Lego